what's up youtube welcome to my channel now this video here is to let you guys know that xbox has finally released the update to allow full bitstream raw uncut audio uh, from your files uh, for me i use plex uh, if you guys use plex and xbox you know about the media uh, play, player uh, features of plex it's awesome i love it so much to do with plex check out my other videos of plex but now I can finally use my Xbox to give me full HD audio for Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and all the other HD formats through the Xbox. Uh, it's fantastic. So now you can let your receiver, your home theater receiver, do all the decoding and let the Xbox pass through that audio right to it. So it's awesome. Let me show you the uh, Xbox settings before I do that. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that bell so you know when I come out with new videos. That being said, guys, let's check out the Xbox menu here real quick all right so you go to your settings you go to general you go over and down to audio output now look at this a nice advanced menu here that pops up it says allow pass through you click that you pass the app audio directly to your receiver now the app audio can be netflix right dolby atmos for netflix it could be hulu it could be amazon prime you know, all the great apps that Xbox offers, you get full HD audio. If that app provides it, finally pass through the Xbox into your receiver to let the receiver do all the audio decoding and not the Xbox itself. So you get much better audio. I watched uh, Fear Street last night through my Xbox with Netflix, full HDR, full Dolby Atmos. It sounded absolutely beautiful. Full Dolby Atmos sound from the Xbox and Netflix. So definitely check it out after you do this. So with this clicked, pass app audio directly to receiver. This setting allows apps to send audio directly to your HDMI device to be decoded. Notifications and other system sounds never won't play while the app's using the setting. That's good. So you definitely want to do that. Pass audio receiver. Make sure that's checked off. And with that being said, of course, you know, you want to go up to HD audio and make sure you do bitstream out, right? Make sure you do that. And then you'll get another pop up in the bottom, but I'll show you that on my other system there because right now being a streamer, I don't get to show all this stuff while doing the OBS thing. So I'm going to switch over to the home theater and I'll be able to show you that Xbox. Let's get that right now. Okay guys. So here is, uh, my, you know, webcam shot of the theater. Um, there's my screen there. There's my other Xbox. I have another Xbox. This is actually Xbox one X is over in the theater hooked up to uh, all my other equipment there so what you want to do here now you go to settings now I apologize if it's a little blurry but you kind of get the idea of where I'm at you know but you go to go to general right you go down to the volume and audio and okay stay there don't, don't you want to focus uh, HDMI audio see where I'm, I'm selecting right now HDMI audio is going to be bitstream out so go all the way to the bottom bitstream and now you open up the bitstream format and this is where they have the option of DTS Dolby uh, surround Dolby digital Dolby Atmos for home theater and now DTS X uh, for home theater. Now uh, you want to choose DTS X of course, but you also need to make sure that you download the uh, H uh, DTS unbound app as well. Uh, of course, in the very bottom select pass through. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now that's all checked, right? Bitstream out. DTSX for audio or Dolby Atmos, whichever you prefer. I, I prefer to have the full gamut, so I'm going to get that DTSX. Um, so now we go uh, to the app itself. So you want to back out of all this, go to the main menu, and then you want to download the DTSX Sound Unbound app from the uh, the store. You select that. Okay, so you get to the, the DTSX, a uh, DTS Unbound app, and you go basically, um, yeah, right here. So the far left DTSX, you want to you want to basically license that license it, make sure it's checked. And then at the very top, you know, DTSX, click that and uh, you're good to go. It'll say you're good to go. See that you can't really see it, but it says uh, good to go. So once that's all enabled, you might have to pay for it. Small fee, one time fee worth it. Totally. Definitely do it. All right. So once that's all done, now we can go to Plex, right? Open up your Plex app. And this is all depending on what media you have on your PC. I have a home theater PC hooked up. And that's where I keep all my files. 
and that's where I open up the, uh, the Plex server. I always have the Plex server on, on my PC, so that way all my devices in my house can see uh, the server from my PC. So the Xbox is a client, right? So I can download the app on the uh, Xbox and they can automatically see my PC where all my files are. And then up the categories on the left, so you, so you can see here. Um, if I go down to audio demos, right? Audio demos, I have Dolby Atmos. Apologize again if you can't see it, but I'm gonna, that's what I'm talking, tell you what it is. Dolby Atmos is my first folder, Dolby Digital, DTS, DTSX, uh, that's THX, and that's IMAX. And those are my folders for all my demo videos. So let's say Dolby Atmos. Click on that, and I'm just going to play Dolby Atmos Nature's Fury. Go ahead and select that. And uh, yeah, see how it says uh, it's a, it's a 7.1 Dolby True HD file. I'm going to play it. It's all on the Xbox, the Xbox controller. I select. Now it's going to start playing that file. And then if I grab my remote and I have a Marantz receiver, if I press um, info, and as you can see, my Xbox One is now outputting Dolby Atmos audio uh, from, from my Plex, which is pretty amazing, finally, right? So that's Dolby Atmos, and now let's back out and play a DTSX file. We go over there, and I'll just play the uh, DTSX out of the box demo. It's always a good one, and that says DTSX DTS HD, 7.1 DTS HD, and then it flips over to DTSX. Flip on the info. And there it is, DTS X from the Xbox One. Amazing. So there it is, guys. Finally, Xbox can now output pass through audio so you can take full advantage of all the apps and um, get the best audio from your Xbox to your receiver. Finally. Amazing. It's about time. This is all from the Xbox. So. Hopefully that gave you some information to go ahead and go into your Xbox, click that settings and make sure you get in the full audio output and uh, yeah, enjoy the better audio guys from your Xbox. Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next one. Home theater rules, Raph out. See you guys.